What is going on world? Today is Wednesday, May 20th. It is currently 1242 and today is day eight of the carnivore experiments. I believe over the next few days here, just like the last video I did, I'm gonna take you through several days in one video so that way we're not just giving you full days. As I mentioned, it's already 1242, did a thousand skips this morning. We did a 7 a.m. workout with the click. I've got a bunch of uh, work done already for today and I've been fasting throughout the whole day. Right now I have a rib roast pulled and defrosting and that's probably gonna be my first meal. I'll probably cook that up in the next hour or so, but I'm actually feeling great today. My energy levels are on point, my mood is on point, everything right now feels really good, especially with being this fasted. Over the last week or so, of the first week of the carnivore experiment, it's been very interesting. The days have been fluctuating. Most days my energy levels are quite neutral, but I do find that after I eat, I was getting a little tired. And even in the mornings of some days, like yesterday morning, I was really hungry because the day before I did a bunch of deadlifts. But as I mentioned, I feel I'm starting to adapt to this diet. I've heard that it takes about two weeks to become fully adapted, but really enjoying things so far. I'm eating till I'm nice and content. I'm nice and full. I'm seeing myself lean down and I'm just really enjoying this diet. I still have, what, 92 more days to go, but really enjoying this experiment so far. And I'm gonna take you guys through the the foods that I eat today and how other things are going on. Like, is my energy levels gonna change after I eat? How are my bowel movements doing? I haven't pooped since day six. So right now, I let a couple, if you guys don't like this, this is a little bit of a poopy update, so skip ahead about a minute. But I've been letting some farts go and they're a little stinky right now. So uh, I think my body's still adapting to this new pooping schedule, to this new way of eating, but it's, uh, it's very unique, that's for sure, because I still haven't pooped in over like 36 hours so far. So uh, my body's still like on this weird schedule with pooping and my bowel movements, but it's definitely interesting. And I feel like my body's absorbing so much more of the food that I'm putting into it compared to when I'm eating a balanced diet where I'm including vegetables and potatoes and, and salad and all that kind of stuff. So come along the journey. I'm gonna take you guys through today in the next few days as I'm a just to the carnivore diet. Hold up. I am the Hungarian experiment. So here's the rib roast I got going. This will be my second time cooking a rib roast. If you guys didn't see the last video, I kind of overcooked it. So I think I have a better idea what I'm gonna do this time. I'm only gonna keep it in the oven for about 30 minutes at uh at 350, then I'm gonna crank it up to 500 to do my second ever reverse sear on a steak or roast or anything like that. So, really enjoying that I'm getting to learn new cuts of meat, how to cook all these different cuts, and uh, cook things like roasts in the oven that I've never done before. For the most part, I've only ever cooked meat and steak out on the barbecue. So, cooking everything on a cast iron pan, utilizing the oven is definitely improving my skills in regards to cooking meat, so really enjoying this so far, but I still have about an hour or so before I cook that up. We're gonna shoot some stuff here with uh, Matt McKeever in a little bit. We need some more content from him, but uh, yeah. So thank you guys so much for being part of this journey. If you guys are watching this video, I love you go smash that like button and leave me a comment down below. I wanna know what you guys think about this diet, what you think about my journey, what you think about anything that's going on here. Go leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll take you guys through the foods that I'm eating today. Four, three, two, she's roasting away. She fell over on me, but I think she's looking nice and good in there. About to crank her up to 500 in a sec. Reverse sear is initiated. <laughs> Take a peek. Okay, it's not standing on its own today. <laughs> we'll 
let that sit with some tin foil on it for a bit and uh, come back and chop her up in about 15, 20 minutes. All right, 311 there and here we go. I actually did it pretty good, I feel, this time. So I'm gonna wolf this down, breaking the fast. Stopped eating last night, I believe around like 8.30. I'd have to check the film, but whenever I had that last piece of chicken, and uh, yeah, so great day of fasting today. Feel really good and on point today. Excited to slam this down. It's nice and sunny out there, so after I eat that, I'm gonna go outside, read a little bit of the carnivore code, and then at six o'clock, I'm going live for a hangout with the Hungarians. So if you guys haven't seen these every Wednesday, six o'clock Eastern, I go live. You guys can hang out with me. You guys can pop into the live stream and actually be live. Say hi to everyone, say what's up. Tell everyone like how you found on my channel. Let's just hang out together. I might do some work. I'm gonna take you guys through the last couple of weeks because I got banned or suspended from YouTube for two weeks for some of my magical mushroom videos even though I don't know why, because I'm, I'm abiding by your rules and your community guidelines, YouTube, but I had to pull those videos down, so we're gonna talk about that, where people can go find that stuff, and talk about how I'm doing on the carnivore diet right now because I haven't really even uploaded any content for you guys yet. That's coming in the next week or so, but I'm excited for it. It's so much fun to go live with you guys, have you guys pop in, feel free to ask any of your questions. So if you guys are watching this, come hang out live on Wednesdays at six o'clock Eastern for a hangout with the Hungarian. Oh buddy, I destroyed that roast like it was nothing. All right guys, 5'10", doing a little bit of a workout here before the hangout with the Hungarian. In between my sets, I'm getting the set all set up. Haha, <laughs> lots of sets in there. But right before I actually started this, I actually had another bowel movement there. So it's been since I believe day six and now today is day eight. So it's been a full two days since I've had a bowel movement. But this one was like, runny and kind of diarrhea -y, but there was a little bit of solids in it. Again, it all went, whoosh, came out real fast and quick and I flushed the toilet, it all just went right away. So yeah, it's just very interesting. I haven't pooped in two days, didn't even feel like a lot came out of me and it was all just like really runny. But there we go, there's another bowel movement update for you guys. Pooping every like 48 hours right now, which is kind of crazy, but gonna continue hitting up my workout here. Keep the set going, I still need a nice little shower before this, but we're going live for six o'clock. What is going on everyone to everyone here who is in the uh, the live stream to hang out with the Hungarian Silvino's in here we got Meg DT unknown expressions they're all hanging out here with me for the hangout with the Hungarian live stream that's gonna be going into this vlog in this video so day eight of the carnivore experiments and we're shooting the hangout with the Hungarian live All right, 7.40 there. We got eight eggs scrambled and uh, six strips of bacon. Oh yeah. I've been working on getting a six pack before getting here. I still got one pack. <laughs> and I've been working to get some muscles so I can wear my t-shirt, but they were large enough so I wore a long sleeve. <laughs> All right guys, that was a great episode of Impact Theory with Les Brown. I actually took a bunch of notes. This guy's just chock full of quotes. It was really good. What'd you think, Michael? Man, um, what was the line? Uh, when you're walking with someone, it's either you're keeping the pace or they are, and it's kind of like an unspoken rule, I guess. And then it said like, and then he said a huge, like Impact, um, who's setting the pace in your life kind of thing. And I was like, woo, that's a big one. That's a big one. And then, dude, what was the other good one you said? It was the acronym, uh, quality people or something? Uh, yeah, OQP, only quality people. people. Yeah, like, so your surroundings, but love mm -hmm. that line too. Yeah. He's a quality person right here. <laughs> <laughs> but it is now 10, 12, 
We got a New York strip loin, and that is gonna be it for day eight of carnivore experiments. All right, guys, it is now day nine of the carnivore experiments. It is currently 1.21 in the afternoon. Just like yesterday, I'm actually doing very, very well with my energy levels, with my mood, and I'm doing intermittent fasting. Yeah, I'm getting very back close to my typical intermittent fasting routine. Now, I'm not trying to force it. I'm not trying to push it. I'm just trying to eat till I'm content here, as suggested by uh, Dr. Sean Baker. But I'm starting to get to that hungry point. I think I want to eat around and you know, in the next 45 minutes to an hour or so, I have pulled out some uh, premium ground beef from uh, Western Meats here. And again, we get this from YU Ranch, which is uh, just about an hour or so outside of London, all grass-fed Texan Longhorn beef. And I have a New York strip loin here that's actually pretty much nice and defrosted. So this is what I'm gonna be having today. I'm thinking I'm gonna have the ground beef with some eggs and maybe even some bacon as well too. And uh, that's what I'm gonna break my fast with in the next little bit here. But just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. Welcome you guys to uh, day nine here. Just kind of show you guys my energy levels and my mood. Been really on point the last few days. Again, I feel like I've been saying this throughout the whole experience, but I feel like my body is really starting to adapt to this now. Again, I'm almost 10 days into this. I'm almost, I'm at that week and a half-ish mark, so feeling really good, feeling on point, really starting to dial in what I'm eating every day. It's not like a whole experience of, oh, how am I gonna cook this? How am I gonna do this? So I just pull things out, get it ready for the day, go work, get stuff done, and yeah, really enjoying it so far. So day nine, carnivore experiments. We're gonna cook up some food in a bit. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let's get to the day. Alright, 250, here we go guys. So we have five eggs, the whole package of uh, lean premium ground beef, and uh, six, maybe even seven strips of bacon. I wasn't really counting. I think it was six though. But, doesn't look all that appetizing, but I can't wait to dive into this. I feel like these yolks are just gonna, oh yeah, oh yeah. Some sauce for the beef. Alright guys, day 10 of the carnivore experiments. It is 12.26 in the afternoon. Been a great day, plugging away. My energy levels have been great. Really feel like I'm getting back on a normal intermittent fasting routine. I'm getting back to my typical life. It took me seven or eight days to really adjust to this. I still haven't pooped since day seven though, so I'm going another three days without pooping here. But besides that, energy levels are great, my mood is great, I'm back into my intermittent fasting life style and everything that I enjoy about it and I just stopped off at Western Meats for another meat haul here. So if you guys are interested in seeing this meat haul, I got all this stuff for $355. So this is actually, um, you know, when I go there to buy it, $315 for this technically is what it says on the butcher's report. And then I got a whole chicken, a beef heart as well too, and two of these uh, pieces of, uh, this is like fat, and apparently these are like two bucks each. So I'm still trying to figure out how to calculate everything properly, because again, this was all $355 together, but each piece of meat is obviously gonna be a different pricing. So if you guys are interested, I'm gonna make a separate video breaking down exactly what I got here, and as well as another video 
uh, breaking down my finances for the first 14 days of the carnivore experiment. How much am I spending on an average daily basis to support myself with this carnivore diet. As I mentioned there, it's a little hard to guesstimate an average, I feel like, cause I don't get a detailed receipt from this. And I feel like the more times I go there, I make sure to give the guys a nice tip. Shout out to the Western Meat Deli guys. They're absolutely amazing there. And uh, they work hard, they bust their ass. So I make sure to leave a nice tip and I feel like every time I'm going, they're hooking me up just a little bit more, which is something to keep in mind when you have a local butcher that you go visit. The more often, the more business you give them, the more you treat them, the more they're gonna treat you as well too. So I don't think I'm getting any great, fascinating deals right now, but like the last order I got, if you guys saw from my uh, preparing for the carnivore diet, that one was technically $315 as well too. And it came to $355 after. So I'm not sure if there, like there's gotta be taxes included in there, right? So I got the same order as last time just a few different cuts of meat and a whole chicken as well as a beef heart. And it was the same price. So keep that in mind guys, you gotta go local, source your food locally and things work out. So again, if you wanna see a breakdown of what I got there, I'll be eating this over the coming weeks, but go check out that video where I show you my second meat haul from Western Meats. Wow, look at the size of this beast. Like this is bigger than my hand. I'm having to use a different cast iron just because I don't think it's gonna fit in my other one. Like I'd have to really push it out to the side. So we're about to uh, fry this up and get into this beast. Wow. So if you guys saw from yesterday's video, I actually had a, like quite a little physical activity day. I was just doing a lot of work here besides my morning skips and besides my uh, our 7 a.m. workout. I didn't do a separate workout for myself and I just honestly wasn't all that hungry. After I ate that New York uh, strip loin, I felt quite content throughout the day. Today, I'm still not feeling all that hungry. I believe it's uh, almost about two o'clock right now, 1.47, so. I'm still not feeling all that hungry, but I'm gonna whip that up. I'm interested to see how much of that I can eat because I do find that like I'm not all that hungry over the last couple days, but when I do eat, it's like, ooh, yeah. Actually, I was kind of hungry, I think, on day eight. Yeah, it's hard to remember. So many days are going by now, and I'm recording stuff and I'm editing like day four right now, so I'm getting a little mixed up with the days, but like I find like I'm content but when I do break my fast and I do eat, like it's just like when I open the floodgates, it's like time to mow down. So interested to see how much of that top sirloin I can eat right now. Things like two and a half to three pounds, I think. Ho, 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 there's the finished product. Let's cut into this beast. Oh man, look at that. I probably could have gone a little bit longer. It's nice and rare, like how I would like it. Maybe even on the blue rare side, which I like as well too. Um, I don't know if this would be great for everyone, but this is definitely what I like here. Look at that. Now I'm not gonna force myself to eat all of this, but let's see if I can eat all of this right now. So after that big sirloin, this is all that is left. If I was really determined, I could probably put all that inside me right now, but I don't wanna push it. Feeling quite content right now. That was a great way to break the fast. Once I started eating, I was like, oh my God, this is so good. But again, I don't wanna push it. I'm not here to, you know, overindulge or even underindulge. My whole goal right now is just to eat till I'm content, like Sean Baker says, and uh, yeah, see what goes on with that. But feeling really good right now, nice and full. 6.54, almost seven o'clock. Here we have meal two, and honestly, will probably be the last meal of the day. We got the rest of that top sirloin, we got six strips of bacon, and we have uh, eight free range brown eggs, oh yeah. I was just downstairs editing up some videos and as of right now, while I was cooking this, I was actually wrapping up the Joe Salatin podcast on the Joe Rogan Experience. Guys, you have to go check that out. It's all about sustainable agriculture, sustainable farming. This is what we need to do. We need to challenge the systems that are currently in place. The systems are fucked. They're all there for profit and greed and as Joel Salatin breaks down there, we can supply people with sustainable farming. It doesn't have to be an unbelievable thing. It's just because of how convoluted we've gotten with things in the world. So we need to change this. It needs to be our generation that stands up and says like, look, we've had enough of this. 
And how do you do that? You start with your own plate. You start by getting organic, whole foods from local sources. Again, most if not all of this stuff is from an hour away from here. It's from Tilsonburg, Ontario. I bought it from a butcher shop. I see the same guys all the time. We need to be voting with our dollars. And if you're just, if you're gonna hop on the carnivore diet, or even if you're gonna change to a vegan diet or a keep your balance diet or whatever you want, at least be aware of where you're getting your food. It might be a little more expensive, but it's gonna save you in health. And this is where our money, I believe, should be going. Things shouldn't be this cheap. It shouldn't be so cheap for food. And you're saving it up to go on vacations around the world and do bullshit like that. So guys, I really suggest going to check out Joe Salatin on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. I'll probably be using some clips of that for my upcoming morals and ethics of eating meat video because we need animals as much as we need plants and everything to sustain this world, to sustain the land, to sustain the ground. And as Joe Rogan mentioned, uh, he's hearing that we only have 60 more seasons of agriculture before the ground is deteriorated of all the minerals and, and, and stuff that needs to grow these plants and grow this mass agriculture. But if we did this sustainably and we had full cycles, people had chickens in their own backyard, we're putting our food scraps and composting things, this wouldn't be a problem. And it needs to be our generation that changes this. We can't just sit by and be idle and not inform ourselves. So I really suggest going to check out that podcast. And honestly, this is gonna be it for me for this video. This was day eight, day nine, and day 10 of the carnivore experiment for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. As you saw there, the last three days, I felt really on point. I feel really good. I still have another 90 days to continue this experiment from the research and anecdotes that I've seen. It's the two week mark where your body starts really adapting to this and you start getting the true benefits and the true results. I didn't wanna mention this yet because I'm still trying to dial it in. I'm not sure if it's just from the sun and stuff, but I'm feeling my libido kick up right now. I'm getting a little more hornier each day. Not like crazy, but like, I'm noticing a difference and I'm starting to notice a change in myself. Again, it's only day 10. I'm not gonna put any labels on anything, but my goal here is to be as open and honest as possible to share my experiences with you guys. And that's how I'm feeling right now. Again, I still got 90 days to experiment with this, three more months of experiments, but honestly guys, this is the way to go. As of right now, with the research I'm doing, reading the carnivore code, like, I think it's my duty to experiment with the vegan experiment, but I'm questioning if I should even do it because I think meat is the way to go, or at least mostly meat diet, a carnivore-ish diet. And we have the ability to sustain this in our world, but we gotta step up, we gotta vote with our dollars, we gotta do different, we gotta know where we're getting our food from instead of running into the grocery store. Instead of, you know, for birthday parties and going to visit people, instead of worrying about stupid little knickknacks and things to post on the walls. How about bringing the most healthy, nutritious foods? Having to go out of our way to do that, spend extra money on that. Instead of trying to appease people with little bullshit that we throw away after. Or stupid shirts that say that we wear once a year. We gotta change ourselves. We gotta change what we truly care about in this world. That all starts with you. It starts with your plate as well too. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate having you guys on my path. If you guys enjoyed this video, you guys enjoy any of my videos, you enjoy this carnivore experiment that I'm doing, I love you, go smash that like button, and of course, leave me a comment. I wanna know what you guys think. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am the Hungarian Experiment. I am the Hungarian experiment.